everyone, and welcome to day 8 of my horror movie review marathon. Today I will be reviewing for you guys Penance. It is a not so typical gory horror film. Penance is about a woman, Amelia, who doesn't live in the best of circumstances, so she wants to find a way to make money to support her and her daughter by becoming a stripper. This is supposedly a one-time deal, but because her crazy stripper friend named Susie, aka Sassy, can't take the next job that's paying loads of cash, Amelia agrees and all goes to hell. I like the way this film was shot using a camcorder and it follows Amelia around wherever she goes. Um, even what at the moment that she gets picked up by Candyman himself, Tony Todd, to a secret location, then stays with her until the very end because she has one of her guy friends going with her. It was good to see a horror movie veteran in the mix with this very interesting cast of people who you might recognize. Even the guy at the first stripper party, older kid with that alien obsessed dad in Independence Day. The setting is completely insane and looks like an abandoned hospital that now holds all these strippers in in cell doors. The camera work, it almost felt claustrophobic at times and it seemed very unsettling to be there. I mean, it just looked absolutely creepy. You would definitely feel bad for these girls. Especially when you have this Captain Crazy Pants running the show. You've seen him as Dwall and the Dwarf in The Hobbit. Scottish actor Graham McTavish plays Greaves, who tries to free the girls of mortal sin by bringing them through hell. These were almost saw-worthy torture scenes, including brutal whippings and being tased all the time. Michael Booker, who you'll next see as Yandu in Guardians of the Galaxy, plays an even more terrifying guy with bigger issues. He doesn't really have that big of a role in this movie, but as soon as you see him wielding a gun, he means business, and you just don't want to mess with him. Even if you try to break his nose with a broken wine bottle. Having this look on his face, like, go ahead, make my day. And let's not forget these crazy nurses. One of them being this French chick walking around all the time, you know, all high and mighty. Maybe she's mostly high. She's like this teacher you never want to have in your classroom, but ends up running this military-esque regime. One of the best actresses around, at least they tried their best. Feeling like these girls needed to be taught a lesson. It was so crazy and unbelievable what Greaves was preaching to them and hoping that they would accomplish what he wished. One instance was pretty baffling when he had this blonde chick just sit in a chair and you know, wanted to offer her 150 G's only if she admits that she's pure of sin and not still a stripper. The end result might have you get killed if you don't answer correctly. Which I think is really lame and it's unfair. Um, so a lot of rules seem to have been broken. I don't know, their mindset was just absolutely positively ridiculous, crazy, and horrible. Like the Joker says, it's not about money, it's about sending a message. Looks like this general is the headmaster, and these girls are the students expected to pass these tests. The movie just gets intense and thrilling until the end. Disturbing. There is this one really gruesome scene. There are some really graphic scenes I will mention. Um, I won't get into detail, but if you see this movie, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I had to literally hide under my covers a couple times watching this, and I've seen it for like five times. This is my fifth time watching it. Um, yeah, you're just hoping that after all these instances that these girls just get out okay, because it is just so horrible, and if this stuff actually happened in real life, I mean, it's based off of like true events. So, who knows? Overall, Penance is a movie that I hate to love, but it's different and horrifying, and I still get scared watching it. 
I would recommend seeing this movie if you have not seen this. Check it out. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of Penance. Come back tomorrow for my next horror movie review. As always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates. Come back every virtual Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys later.